Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. And we got a brand new update in the game today, just dropped a few hours ago as I'm recording this. But you guys know there will be more. We're expecting another update next week. April 1st will be the start of the new rank season and the new season pass. So there's more to come, guys. But today we'll look at what we got in today's update because we got a brand new map, we got some balance changes. A bunch of new challenges so we'll look into it guys before we start make sure you subscribe to the channel right now for daily cod mobile videos let's get into it now first thing you notice guys brand new lobby with new artwork also they rearranged the hub a little bit and if you click on rank match on the top right you'll see also a new wallpaper so i'm guessing these are the rewards that we'll get for rank season uh, next season also uh, it used to be the yellow snake stuff so yeah expecting that and talking about the new rank season, they posted a community update, guys. Uh, let's look into it. They said and they confirmed the reset will happen April 1st. So brand new season, April 1st. They also confirmed it's going to end on June 1st. So April and May, two months again for the rank season to reach legendary or to get all your rewards. Now, what you need to know about rank multiplayer, three important things that you guys need to know. First of all, they will change the matchmaking logic probably starting today but for the next season uh, we should have better matchmaking also they change the scoring system again you remember guys they changed it last season what they did last season is it was easier to reach master uh, so there was a lot more chances to get master 2 after that more weaker players and master ranks now they didn't say what they will change to the scoring system this time but I saw some posts on reddit some guys say they lost less points for being MVP in a losing team but we'll have to see later they didn't post the details but scoring changes and also matchmaking changes one more very good change they removed scrapyard from the rank playlist and it will change for meltdown now i know you guys remember uh scrapyard was a bit of a mess a lot of complaining at the start of the season especially in domination it was pretty bad so good thing they removed scrapyard they listened to the feedback hopefully meltdown's gonna be better than scrapyard because uh yeah it was pretty bad now the only thing they said about the scoring is they're gonna reduce the penalties for losing a ranked game so if you play with randoms you get a bad team and you lose you're not going to lose as many points as the season before. So it's good news, guys. Cannot wait to try it. Definitely going to go for Legendary again this season. Now about the new season pass, this one ends in six days. They confirm we'll get a new Mason character on the premium pass. And we'll get a new score streak. It's in the game already, but it's not available. Now you see at the bottom, the Shock RC is here. But we'll have to wait for the unlock event as usual. When they release a new score streak or a new operator, we have to unlock it through some tasks. So yeah, that one, uh, I thought it was radio controlled again, but apparently this one, you will not have to control it. It's just gonna go like a hunter killer drone and you can follow it if you want. Now it costs 350 points, which is the second cheapest score streak, Molotov. 300 UAV 400 is very very cheap um, we'll have to see how effective it is but yeah definitely coming soon I guess uh, during the start of the season now once again we're expecting new game modes in multiplayer 2v2 gun game and another 2v2 showdown so 2v2 game modes coming soon this one also should be exciting and a bit of a change to the multiplayer playlist now they just dropped a bunch of balance changes to the weapons so once again they try to balance the weapons uh, very often so s36 getting a nerf msmc type 25 some of the most popular weapons now of course some weapons are getting buffed the asm 10 looks like it's getting a pretty good buff and it should be much more popular now because nobody or almost nobody used the asm 10 before so let's see how it goes guys i'm gonna have to wait a few weeks of course for the balance changes to to affect the meta but once the players have a bit of time to try the new balance changes uh in a few weeks we'll start to see what are the good weapons now for the next rank season now let's talk about battle royale guys the 20 versus 20 mode is coming back with a change this time it's gonna be first person perspective they just announced it on the community update so 20 versus 20 was a lot of fun it was very very busy but it was only third person perspective so Coming back with first person should be fun also. 
I like first person, honestly. I always play first person. It's personal preference. Uh, what you guys don't know about Battle Royale, they didn't really announce it. I don't see it in the patch notes. You can now use the Lava Axe in Battle Royale. That is a change. I don't know, out of nowhere, a lot of people were requesting it and asking why can we not use it? Because you can use it in multiplayer, you could use it in zombies, but you could not use it in Battle Royale. Why? I don't know, but it's finally here guys. So not gonna change much, but still some guys really like it. I like it. Might have to try it also. So Battle Royale, new mode coming. They also added new weapons. Uh, I don't know if they're here yet, but they added uh, the Burst Shotgun and the UL736. Yeah, UL736 is now here in Battle Royale. So this is an LMG. I know they nerfed the LMG movement, but still, uh, it's good to have new weapons. I don't know how rare it's going to be on the map. Uh, but right now, M4 LMG was here and RPD. I think it's uh, probably the best LMG in Battle Royale right now. UL736 is a very good one. I use it a lot in the past. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to try that in BR. And the other one is the burst shotgun. And once again, not a big fan of that one. Yeah, right here, the HS2126. We're gonna equip uh, a skin, but yeah, probably not gonna use that. Unless it's super common, like the M16. Like you drop and you see a bunch of M16 on the ground. So if you see that burst shotgun, maybe I'm gonna pick it up, but probably gonna replace it as soon as you find a better weapon, like a, a AK117. But still, it's fun to have some change, so yeah, it's gonna bring a bit of diversity to the game. Now let's check out the in-game event because we got something very, very cool right now, and guys, don't miss it. First of all, we got the Meltdown map challenge. Uh, we're just gonna have to play a few team that match on Meltdown 8, 10 games. Uh, win or lose doesn't matter, it seems, but you're gonna get some credits, but look at the last reward. These gold tokens called Daily Coin. You're gonna have to collect these guys, don't miss these. If you see them in uh, any challenge, go for it, guys. So here you're gonna get three of these and you're gonna get more. Daily Mission Exchange is where you're gonna exchange your tokens. And look at that, you got some rare weapon skins. Uh, some of them are pretty cool. We got an Arctic 50 here. We got a backpack, parachute, and wingsuit. So these cost 40. So if you want all the battle royale or the skins here, it's 120 tokens you need for these three plus a free to play hvk 30 uh it's gonna cost 60 tokens and there's also a soldier skin here for 60 tokens so apparently you're gonna need a lot of these tokens or these coins if you want everything guys usually in these events you cannot collect everything you have to choose okay you're gonna get a limited number of tokens and you're gonna have to spend wisely. So probably the weapon, the soldier, and then you're gonna have to choose between weapons and uh, battle royale parachute or something. Uh, and then I could be wrong. Maybe they're gonna give us enough this time, but usually we cannot buy everything. Remember the Valentine one? Remember the Lunar New Year exchange event? You never have enough. So, so far I see three here on the meltdown. The daily missions, probably will get these every day but that's only uh one two three four five that's only five coins guys okay log in stay online for 10 minutes so i got two coins already uh then you're gonna have to play five games uh in any mode four games with friends and earn medals so that should be very easy hopefully we get some every day the daily exchange will last 33 days so if you get five per day for all month 30 days 30 plus days uh you're gonna get 150 or something but still 150 is not enough 150 you're gonna get like maybe just the backpack wingsuit and parachute and you don't have enough left for um the soldier or the weapon 150 could buy you the soldier and the weapon but nothing else pretty much okay uh, but you can also get more the daily login calendar for the whole month if you log in every day You're gonna get a token here on day two. You're gonna get a bunch of trash rewards, but at day six you get three more here um, Then you got you're gonna get some cool weapons starting at day 20 something uh, you get a chicken Which is not great, but you got a PDW here on day 23 uh, You get an arctic 50 here evil chip uh, day 26 and then 27 day 10 more coins 
So don't miss these. Try to log in at least 26, 27 days during the month before the event is over. Now version update just for downloading the game or the game update. You're going to get these guys. BK57 Evil Chip. This skin is very cool, by the way. Uh, technologic um, with the, the chips and stuff like uh, inside a, a computer card or whatever. Yeah, so, but yeah, again, it's the BK57. Maybe it's going to see more use in the new balance changes. And then again, daily reward did not change crates and um, credits. One more thing, guys. The new crate here, guys, maybe you guys going to miss that one. There's a new crate called Ruin Spade Soldier Crate. You can only get one. I'm guessing we're going to see more. Maybe it's going to replace the uh, the Prophet Archangel that was before the, the, the police guy. So I don't know if it's going to be the new free crate for the new season that we're going to get once in a while for doing events. But this soldier, guys, uh, I guess it's uh, one of the cool ones in the game. The Ruin Soldier is super cool. I have the Ruin Jungle. This one's very nice. And once again, I don't know if we're going to have many chances to get free crates. Maybe it's going to come to the shop. But anyways, the story of the day, guys, is these tokens. The difference is usually on previous events, you knew exactly how many you're going to get. So you can make a decision and some planning. This time we have no idea how many we're going to get in total. So you cannot really plan ahead and decide what you're going to buy. So I'm guessing maybe collect your tokens for the, the whole month. And on the last day, maybe then decide what you want to do. Because you're going to have a better idea when we get on the last week at least. But if you start spending your tokens now, uh, you might have a bad surprise at the end. Now, uh, once again, uh, this is not the evil chip, by the way. This is open circuit. So we got two different Arctic 50 and you might want to go for both if you're a big sniper fan. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for now, guys. So this week, I guess, try the new balance changes. Uh, try to play some rank multiplayer to see the scoring system change. Uh, try to see what are your new favorite weapons and get ready for the next rank season next week, April 1st. Gonna start ranking up, try to get legendary again. And also cannot wait to see the season pass. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Enjoy the new update. And they say they will post every day some spoilers before their season starts. So check the social medias for Call of Duty Mobile on Twitter. And they got their YouTube going now. And that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys. Take care.